I know, leave-in conditioner for locks? What? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Octavia Darling, and we're back with another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my new wash day routine. And I'm going to share with you why I switched over to using different products opposed to what I was using for about six months to, I want to say, almost a year. But before we hop into this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. But let's get to it. Okay, so if you've watched some of my other previous watch today videos and saw some of the products that I was using, then you would know that I was using Locklicious um, shampoo for, you know, washing my hair. And I still use their products. I really do love their rose water and their growth oil. Those are like my two favorite products. But over time, I noticed that the shampoo, it would cleanse my hair, but then I noticed that there were it wouldn't fully wash out of my hair. And I think it's because of like my hair texture, I don't know, but it wouldn't really wash fully out of my hair. So then I would find myself having just a little bit of residue left. And I didn't really like that. Granted, the product is really good. I've seen other people use it and you know have great reviews and experiences from them. But for me, I needed a better shampoo that will cleanse my locks thoroughly and, um easy to rinse out so that's why i decided to switch over and when i made the decision to switch over i actually reached out to someone that i know who is a loctician and does an amazing job on her client's hair um i asked her what kind of products she used for her clients because their hair is always looking so nice fresh um the locks even be looking like soft and everything so she told me what they use and I decided to try it out. So she recommended that I use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Shampoo. This is a sulfate-free shampoo that moisturizes and shines. It has no sulfates, mineral oil, drying alcohol, or petrolatum in it, which is amazing. Also, it smells so good, y'all. I can't even lie. So I picked this up from my local beauty supply store, and it wasn't expensive at all if i remember it was like under ten dollars okay and here is the kicker out of all of this she also recommended that i use the shea the african pride shea miracle leave-in conditioner i know leave-in conditioner for locks what i know i know i'm just as shocked as you are when she told me my jaw kind of dropped because i'm like leave-in conditioner all i've heard is that you're not supposed to use conditioner let alone leave-in conditioner in your locks because you don't want it to leave any residue and that's what i'm trying to get away from but then i thought about it i'm like you know what i'm going to trust what she's saying and i'm going to test it out because at this point i just didn't like how my locks were feeling for the most part and i just wanted to switch it up i needed some more moisture into my locks i didn't need anything that was going to dry it out not that i was using anything that was but it was the winter time and everything i just wanted to switch it up and why not try something new right okay so fast forward i used it and i, I bought both of the products from the same um beauty supply store and then i went to the house to use it and you guys i'm not even lying to you the way my hair felt after using it was amazing. It was so soft. I loved how the shampoo lathered up um, my hair so easily. And I loved how when I was done rinsing it out, there was no product left. And then when I went to use the leave-in conditioner, it's very like lightweight, so a little goes a long way. And I just gently, you know, rubbed it through my locks like that after I had kind of towel dried my hair and just let it like, you know, air dry, do its thing. And you guys, it, feel, it, it, it felt so good when I did it. And I was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to be using for a while. I was so excited. I had to run and tell my mom like, mom, girl, let me tell you, girl, I got some new products I'm using for my locks and I'm really feeling it. So I've been using it for, I want to say about a month or so now. And hey, I have no regrets or disappointment and I probably won't. So 
Yes, I do use leave-in conditioner in my locks. Should you use it? I say go by your own discretion. For me, I have my reasons as to why I chose to do it. And if you're thinking about doing it, maybe do a little bit more research just to make sure that this is something that you want to incorporate into your routine. But we're going to be done talking right now. Let me just show y'all how this, how the products look and work on my hair. All right, so first and foremost, I am down in the kitchen about to wash my hair. If you still wash your hair in a kitchen sink, comment down below. I mean, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. So yeah, <laughs> here you see me rinsing out my hair first before I add the shampoo. And as you can see, it's nice and thick, you guys. So I like to add a little bit at a time um, and just gradually add more to my hair as needed. But I just rub the product in my hands first and then start at the roots and just start massaging the shampoo on my scalp. And now here I'm adding a little bit more because clearly that wasn't enough. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. Y'all have to get this um, this product if you don't already have it. Y'all, it smells so good. I know it's the argan oil, but man, it smells good. All right, so now I'm just now scrubbing my hair, making sure that I get all the dirt, oil out of it. Uh, if you remember my last lock style, I had the updo with the perm rods, so I had used like mousse on my hair. And I haven't washed my hair since then, so I definitely wanted to make sure all of that product was getting cleansed out. If y'all can feel it, y'all will see how soft it is. Wow, my locks are really growing. <laughs> but if y'all can see it, y'all will. If y'all can feel it, y'all will see how soft it is. It's nice and clean. So what I like to do next is section my hair off, just as I would when I was a loose natural. So this is the back section that we're going to start off with. I have the leave-in conditioner right here it wasn't even that tight doing too much this is what the consistency of it looked like so this is what the actual conditioner looks like i like to start off with like this amount rub it in my hands then i'll split this section in two and i'll start from the bottom and literally just work my way up oh and it smells so Good, let me tell you. I do it like that and then I also like to separate my locks. You know how sometimes it can get a little, um, it can join together at the roots. I just like to separate it a little bit just as I would if I was a loose natural and I was like quote unquote detangling my hair, preparing for like a twist out or something. I like to do that with my locks so that they don't be stuck together for the most part and this step is also very good for you if you're going to like retwist right after as far as like separating your locks during this process so i'm gonna be doing no retwist Woo! my locks is growing 
but I'm gonna do the same thing for these two sections. today this was my new wash day routine slash tutorial just to show y'all the new products i'm using now by the time you're watching this i am officially three years locked Woo! oh my gosh i can't believe that it's been it's like i can't believe it's already been three years but at the same time i can't believe it's only been three years because i've experienced so much growth so much change um throughout this journey so i'm very excited i'm very happy that i've made it this far um let me give y'all update hopefully y'all can see but this is how long my locks are now i'm literally almost at my goal which is waist length so that's pretty interesting i'm loving it i'm loving it but anyways y'all comment down below if you've ever used leave-in conditioner in your locks if so what kind let me know your thoughts would you use leave-in conditioner do you use regular conditioner when it comes to your locks i'm interested in knowing what your routines are as well so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe i can't wait to see y'all the next video the next video is gonna be a vlog so stay tuned i'm gonna be putting out more vlogs on this channel um, just to show y'all more so of my lifestyle, y'all get to know me a little bit better aside from just doing tutorials because there's more to me than just tutorials. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.